The GERM is the Global Education Reform Movement. It's defined around competition between schools. It's defined around privatisation and marketisation of education. It's also defined around standardisation. It's just unbridled, unchecked capitalism. And it's the same people behind the privatisation of education, behind low wage work, behind all of these things that eat at the very fabric of communities and erode the foundation of communities which are working people. Basically, high stakes testing is, is something that happens in our schools. So that's an that's opt-out movement is something that's been growing where parents are saying, you know what, I'm tired of my kids coming home and, and telling me about crying because they had to take a test today, you know. Little babies having to be having, having to take a test. Testing a kid to teach them to learn is like weighing a pig to make it fat. All CTU members really agreed that we were in big trouble. And it was a question of what strategy going forward, right? There, there was no disagreement that, you know, our the, our, our pensions were under threat, people's rights and treatment in the schools, that CPS increasingly had these bureaucratic principals who were running schools as little businesses, that there was an explosion of over-testing, that racial disparities in funding was getting worse and worse. I'll never forget during the Summer Institute, <laughs> we read this great article with, with Che Guevara, and they asked him the same question, like, how do you start a revolution? You knock on the door. No, no, seriously, how do you start one? You go knock on the door, you ask people to join. And, <clears throat> I mean, did I have to ask them sometimes more than once? Of course, <laughs> right? And so that summer of 2012, we had about 50 organizers, who, and they taught us how to organize. And this new school year is beginning. There is an uprising taking hold in the city of Chicago. Tonight, the biggest teacher strike in America in a generation is underway. 29,000 teachers out on the picket lines. I think it was the third, the second day of the, of, of the strike. And, you know, we were downtown Chicago and we were in front of the Board of Education. And I was asked to take the microphone because the MC hadn't showed up. So, so now I'm asked to MC this rally. Thousands of people are down here, right? Wasn't prepared for it. But I got, you know, on the top of the back of this pickup truck. And, you know, there were just scores of teachers all over the place. Parents, you know, social workers. I mean, just all of our seniors, red all over the place. The treatment from people was so awesome. I mean, we, we could get on the bus, bus drivers open, come on, get on. We didn't have to pay no bus stand. <laughs> you know, people knock on windows, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, come on in, get something to eat. You know, it's like, oh my goodness. It was just awesome. It was so much respect. And that strike was empowering to me and to my fellow colleagues too because now we know we have rights. And not only do we know we have rights, we were involved in the rights. What do you see when you see a baby? I mean, what do you see? You know, do you see a future inmate? You know, do you see somebody that can be, you know, the next Dr. Daniel Hale Williams? To me, education is not about what you put in, it's about what you unlock, right? The best teachers understand that. What if that child is an artist? Well, how, you know, we, how, there are dozens of schools where there's no art. What if that child is an orator and they have the gift, you know, to communicate, but there's no debate team, right? There, you know, there's no speech, there's no creative writing, right? Because it's all about drill and kill. You're robbing them. I'm confident, I'm confident that the type of organizing and coalition that's being built now will punch back and they'll punch back in a way that, that will be felt. So we believe not only can you have a great school system and a curriculum that actually allows for critical thinking, but we actually think that critical thinking can, can cause for a better society. And that's why I became a teacher. That's all, just to change the world. <laughs> <laughs> CTU, this is your finest hour. to America, Japan to Australia, 
Corruption knocks up on every door Can't take the pressure, can't take it no more To take control we have to knock them back I don't care if you're white or black Fight, 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 fight And yes you will see We'll defeat the evil policies and Rise up, up. We're singing this song Stand firm United we're strong Kick back You know we shouldn't take long We say We fight cause they're wrong Shove them out You know they're robbing the poor Get them out And we can't take it no more Blow them out Till they're down on the floor Kick them out Right out the door Rise up 